weeks ago, Kia unveiled the 2022 K9. The K9 was retailed as the K900 in the United States market but is no more. The new model replaced the previous version which was available since 2018, and it comes with a host of updates inside and out and is certainly a head-turner. The 2022 Kia K9 gets a new Tiger nose front grille, sharper headlamps with LED daytime running lights, new grille inserts, chromed-out grille border, Kia's new corporate badge mounted on the bonnet, revised front bumper with wider air intake, long bonnet structure, a large greenhouse with raked front windshield, slender wing mirrors, and elegant character lines. The new Kia K9 comes with a full-width LED light bar, LED tail lamp cluster, chrome-accented rear bumper, sloping roofline, chromed window line, dual chrome-tipped exhaust outlets, sculpted boot, and so on. New 19-inch alloy wheels and the updated corporate badge round off the changes on the outside while the interior is also expected to go through a series of changes. In its home market, it derives power from a 3.8-liter V6 engine producing 310 horsepower. Some variants are also offered with a turbocharged 3.0-liter unit delivering 365 horsepower. The interior of the 2022 Kia K9 shows the roominess for the occupants at the back as even tall passengers appear to sit comfortably. Much of this video is focused on the interior of the updated K9 which is fitting as it too has been thoroughly updated. Many owners will commute in the back and as the reviewer notes, the rear seats off plenty of legroom and headroom for tall passengers. A central control stack at the rear is also featured and includes climate and media controls, buttons for the heated and ventilated seats, side sunshades, and a wireless charging pad. The rear seats also offer loads of adjustments and include a massaging function. Alterations have also been made to the front of the cabin. For example, it includes a widescreen infotainment system the same size as those used by new Genesis models like the G80 and GV80. There's also a digital instrument cluster and an analog clock in the middle of the dashboard. It's refreshing to see Kia is still determined to cater to a gradually shrinking sedan segment, investing in facelifts and next-generation models. It's a mid-cycle revision rather than a next-gen model, but the visual changes are quite significant.